a war on three fronts right now. This is the map of the invasion so far. Russia only borders Ukraine right here on this far eastern area. So there is one uh, front, this one small section here on the east side. But naval forces in the Black Sea are coming from the south. Also, Russia has annexed Crimea. Of course, that gives Russia access to the Black Sea, but it also strategically put them right in an area to come at Ukraine from the south. Russian forces also entered the country from Belarus. That's in the north, just north of, of the capital city of Kyiv. Uh, Belarus and Russia, uh, not one and the same, but certainly friendly to each other. That's how they have been able to take control, or at least on their way to taking control of the capital of Ukraine. At last check, that tank column coming in uh, from the north out of Belarus down towards Kyiv, as you see that far uh, red arrow there. It's uh, just about 20 miles from the outskirts of town now. All right, spread out a little bit, uh, get a little bit wider to provide some background. One of the big reasons uh, President Vladimir Putin of Russia gave for attacking Ukraine was to prevent Ukraine from joining in the Western nations that have formed NATO. And one of the main rules in NATO is if your country is attacked, all other countries in NATO have been attacked and then therefore will come to your aid. Uh, that includes everyone from Turkey, essentially, all the way over to the United States. Becoming a member nation has been a goal for Ukraine and current Ukrainian president. They became an enhanced opportunity partner to NATO in 2020, but there are many reforms needed before they could officially join. Russia invading now to prevent that possibility, perhaps uh, providing their own blanket of security as well.